Need some coins to that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out mudpacks.com where you guys can open up exciting packs, win tons of mud coins, and withdraw the coins to your account. Use code Zerk for 15% off. The whole thing wobbing. some new reveals to get into and i'm hoping there are some good ones i do want to give a shout out to colton for being a part of the nota gang if you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are subs to the channel to the notification bell on and comment down below nota gang also guys my nba picks today are up right now over on twitter so if you guys want to check out underdog fantasy you can use code zerk to match first deposit up to hundred dollars and as i said follow me over on twitter my nba picks i will have some more picks up for the 9 p.m game as well all right so let's go over these cards guys the game changer and also the weekly wild card they revealed and then i'll showcase for you guys the teasers now once again ea sometimes they tweet out the abilities sometimes they don't tweet out the abilities and uh they did not tweet out the abilities this time around so again i do not know we will see tomorrow but starting off we have amon Ra st brown or amon Ra st brown actually with the game changers part two promo he has 98 speed 97 catching traffic also has 96 spectacular catch 98 short route running 97 medium route running and 95 deep route running now with amon Ra, he is six feet tall so you know not crazy crazy tall there uh, but obviously he is a really really good slot receiver the only thing i will say about this card is obviously this card is very very good uh but it's essentially like a battle between him and cd lamb i will imagine as to who the best slot receiver in the game is which i will say that not even being a cowboys fan saying this the cd lamb card is likely going to be the better slot option uh because obviously he is six foot two uh, amazing after the catch really really good abilities especially if you add that token into him where you can get short out and short in for zero ap however there is obviously one major issue with uh the cd lamb card and the major issue is he's ridiculously expensive because he was a limited uh and because he is very obviously so in my opinion the best slot receiver in the game so pretty much if you don't want to spend the coins to get cd lamb i do believe that amon Ra could potentially be the best slot receiver in the game based upon abilities if he's able to get short in and short out for potentially zero ap like cd lamb is then you have a decision to make cd lamb currently still going for around nine hundred thousand coins as of the last time that i checked so with amon Ra being a set card you wouldn't expect him to be as expensive maybe around 600k 650 700 potentially uh based upon the other heroes we have coming out tomorrow but uh, i'd imagine he'll get short in for zero and we'll see about short out maybe route tech all that good stuff definitely gonna be a really good card uh, i love amon ross and brown cards i will say that this other card though they did show is also amazing now, obviously with Tariq woolen he is six foot four uh and his cards just play really really good if you guys have used a Tariq woolen card they are very very good he also unfortunately so on his last card the 93 overall uh you can't really base the stats off of the mcs because the mcs was kind of like a golden ticket they kind of got to boost stats off that whatever but his last actual corner card did have some pretty good hit power at 81 this was a 93 overall also 72 tackling and 62 block shit so the block shit really wasn't all that crazy but who cares it's about him being six foot four and being this ridiculously fast and good at coverage with 98 speed which obviously if you guys have the welcome pack strategy card from the free agency promo then you get plus one speed to everybody so really all these 98 speed players are really 99 speed he has 97 excel 97 agility 99 jumping at six foot four 93 play rack 97 man 98 zone and 96 press again they didn't tweet out the abilities but uh without a doubt Tariq Woolen is one of the absolute best cornerbacks in the game I would honestly almost say the best cornerback in the game. 6'4", 98 speed, which you'll be able to get up to 99 speed with that strategy card there. Uh, great zone, great man, good press. Block shed, maybe he's like the only thing you could say is, you know, maybe you wish he was a little bit better in the run game. Who cares? He's 6'4", and amazing. I will say the best cornerback in the game. Uh, Tariq Woolen, really, really nice. Now, we do also have these reveals right here. Now, based upon what we already know about the Game Changers program here, right? Game Changers, so far, based on Amon Ra, uh, are pretty much like Team of the Year snubs, right? So, on the left side there, I believe that to be, uh, to me, it looks very, very obvious. I saw some people say a uh, Hawkinson. I don't see it. 
that's Mark Andrews. I believe that is Mark Andrews right there for the Game Changers program, so he should be getting a card there. Next up, looks like, obviously, a Cleveland Brown. I'm trying to recall if there were any Cleveland Browns alignment, because that very much so uh, looks like an offensive lineman to me. Player number three is very interesting. It looks like a receiver for sure. Uh, I want to say Devontae. It, it looks like Devontae Adams to me. And then the final one being the fourth player, here's the thing. It looks like a Patriot, so I want to say Matthew Judon. But I think he has the ball in his hands, so I don't know. But I want to say Judon. However, I'm not positive on that. Well, those are the game changer teasers. You guys can let me know down below who you think those are. But I do think Mark Andrew would be a pretty solid tight end. Uh, Devontae, if they gave him 98 speed, maybe, you know, maybe then we're cooking there. But let's take a look here at the weekly wild cards as well. You guys can see the players here uh, all the way to the right. Definitely looks like a Raven to me. I think all the way on the right there. Uh, all the way on the left, a Raider, I think. I think I see a Raider. Obviously, looks like a Giants player for the second one. A uh, big prediction I've been seeing a lot of people over on Twitter say, though, is Kayvon Thibodeau for that card. And then the third one is extremely obvious that that is a Dolphin. I'm not really sure what position that is, but I've seen a lot of people say Tua. I'm not positive on that one, though. So those are the teasers and the actual players. Keep in mind, guys, tomorrow when it comes to, like, weekly wild cards and also with the Game Changers program, they don't drop at 10.30. 10.30 is usually every other promo, but these drop at 11 a.m., so they won't be out at 10.30. Don't go, you know, flying to open up packs thinking you're going to pull them. But let me know down below who you guys see here. As for the Game Changer cards, like I said, Devontae and Andrews, I think I see. I'm really not sure on that right one. Uh, the second one does look like an offensive lineman to me, but I really don't know as to who on their right that is it looks like a patriot maybe maybe i'm maybe i'm just seeing the color maybe it's like a titan or something uh, but i think it's a patriot Tariq woolen an absolute must have in my opinion uh he's gonna be pretty expensive i think that card is gonna be very very expensive Tariq woolen looks very very nice and then as for amin ross st brown i guess depending on how much the card costs and also the abilities if he gets the same exact abilities as cd lamb where if you're able to add the token into him he gets short out he gets short in then if he's cheaper than cd you obviously go with amin ra i feel like there's not going to be a crazy big difference in between those two uh, except for the fact that cd is you know a couple inches taller and personally, I'll just say this, I, even as a Cowboys fan, this is not biased saying this here. He really just plays great. I've said that about CD Lamb cards since beginning of the year when we got like that free one with the field pass and then the zero chill card that played great. And this one has been one of the better receivers I've used the entire year. He just makes incredible catches, but I really like Amon Ross St. Brown cards a lot as well. Although obviously only six feet tall, he's never been the tallest receiver. Uh, I used him last year. I think it was in the pack and play series that of course I do over here. And he's really good. He played very, very nice. And I know a lot of people like Amon Ross St. Brown uh, as a player. So I'm sure he'll be a very sought after card. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like video. And of course, that sub button down below. Let me know down below your guys' opinions on these cards. We'll see about the abilities tomorrow. And uh, we'll see exactly how hype we will be for all these cards. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.